Hi, I'm Emily A. Smith and this is Amy V. And we're going to be performing a song for you to promote our upcoming gig at the Stag and Hunter Hotel, Temple of the Stag Unplugged, raising funds for Listen Up Music on the 20th of October. So we'll see you then. I think it's important that a body like Listen Up exists because we see a lot of people talking about the relationship between musicians and mental health, but most of the time they're talking about their relationship with mental ill health. So uh, we hear a lot of discussion about this and the fact that, you know, artists are often in crisis and they're tortured and they struggle. And the thing that Listen Up really focuses on is our ability to thrive and to flourish. And I think sometimes we forget that we are actually we have permission to do that, you know, um, and a lot of people do do it um, quite well. And I think I'm really interested in learning more about some of those strategies. But I think one of the key things is feeling like we're connected to something and feeling like we belong because we work in isolation so often. Um, and the thing that Listen Up does really well is it brings people together. The music industry is quite unique. It is unregulated in a lot of ways and you know, things like not having access to sick leave or annual leave or those kind of entitlements that somebody in a regular job might have um, are definitely factors in our ability to take care of our mental health. And obviously a, another huge one is just the financial precarity of working as a, as a music worker, you know, working from gig to gig, not having a lot of standards and regulations about pay um, is a huge thing for people you know it's a thing that people stress about the thing that that drives in us is that we often have our own sort of coping strategies that we learn along the way and you know I've been in the music industry for a long time and I've learned the things that I can do to keep myself healthy and, and above water um, and you know as I said I think a really big part of that is just feeling like I'm connected to people and I'm, I'm part of something and you know, Newcastle's got an amazing music community. It's a very supportive music community. And I think things like Temple of the Stag are a really great example of that. You know, Emily has managed to pull together this group of people, for everyone from like really serious professional musicians who are working all the time, right through to people who are just starting out and who just feel like getting up and having a sing and mm. expressing themselves. It's, yeah. it's such a mixed bag but it's a beautiful, safe, warm space to be in. And I think that's really important. Having been involved in the music industry from a very young age, the initial idea for Temple of the Stag was definitely an opportunity for me to, to jam out. And, but ultimately, I really wanted to create a community in Newcastle and, and a nice community and an inviting and inclusive community. I was really craving that myself at the time of starting. Temple of the Sag and it was one of the scariest things I've ever committed to doing but it's also been the most rewarding thing I've ever done. I'm really really excited about Temple of the Sag Unplugged on the 20th of October and really excited to be raising funds for Listen Up Music. I think everything they do is, is amazing and um, helping our music community and our immediate music community here in Newcastle and also creating a space where we can talk about mental health and not shy away from the hard conversations. We are all in all the soul.